Hey everybody, it's Dre from Bullshit Corner. Welcome to today's video. Today's video, we are going to attempt to pull the axles out and change the U-joints in your axle shafts in your Jeep TJ. This thing is, hasn't never been a part and she's going to be a fucking cunt, so let's get to work. Alright, we got everything wetter than some chick's pussy wanting some fucking hard cock. So, we're going to let the PB Blaster sit for a while, a couple days, before I come back in the garage. And we'll start stripping everything down. Next step is going to be, I'm going to remove the brakes. Then I'm going to remove the cotter pin for this. Remove the nut. Pull the disc brake off. Let's fucking do this. Power of the fucking snipe. Who's fucking boss now, Bolt? Who's fucking boss now? The bearing didn't want to come off that well for me because you can see from all the years with our Canadian winters, it just fucking rusts everything to shit. But I got the bearing off, and now if I'm lucky, yeah, the axle just pulls right out. It's one axle stub out. This is your basic kit here with your cups, instructions, and basically to remove the U-joint. Just shows just like that. So we're just going to grab this piece and the threaded rod, attach it to that, and see if we can get it out. It's heavily corroded. If not, the fucking press will get it out. Definitely. The first thing we got to do before removing the U-joints is removing these little clips here on both sides, on all four. It's going to be a little difficult, especially if they're rusted in, but you just hit them out with a screwdriver, chisel or something. Otherwise, you're not going to get your U-joints out all that friendly. So you just got part of the clip put on right there. There, now we're ready to get that U-joint out that one side. All right, let's see if we can make some magic with the fucking snipe. Holy shit, something fucking flew out there. See that, the cap was so fucking rusty, she just snapped off and fired away. Okay, let's try the second one here. Got a snipe on it. Drive this bitch home. Fuck, that sucker's fucking in there pretty good. Still came out, just not all that nice of shape. Now that I'm ready to reassemble, I got a new U joint here. I got my four clips. I've also Polished out the insides a little bit, get rid of the rust to help it go in a little smoother. I got some grease in there, and we're going to assemble this. First thing I'm going to do is I put some grease in my finger. Going to rub it on the inside there. Very carefully. Remove these cups. Put it through. Now if you're careful, I just put these in a vise. And I squish them in. And sometimes maybe necessary to use a ball joint U joint press again to push the cup up enough because one side might not be able to go in. But you want to be careful that you don't damage it at the same time. Once you get the other one, it's the same thing. Take your clip, slide it into place like that, and then then one front drive shaft is done. Now when you put the axle back in, you need to kind of guide it in straight because you don't want to damage your inside seal when you're putting it in. There I go. 
Now I'm in, and I can turn it. Perfect. Our next step is to torque these to 80 foot-pounds of torque. This next step, I can't stress enough, this sets the preload on the bearing. When you put this, and you put your nut on, a lot of people will just fucking torque this down and not even care. Having the proper torque will prolong the life of this bearing. Sorry I stand mistaken, 175 foot-pounds of torque. Put this bad boy on there. That's it. This is the one time, and I'm going to say it again, is make sure your wheel bearings are torqued properly when you install them. Otherwise, your preload is going to be off and it's going to shorten the life of the bearings. Anyways, it's fucking beer time. If you have any comments or questions, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.